Uh, hello, everyone. Bonjour, bienvenue. Uh, welcome, everyone, to Data on Kubernetes Day Europe here in Paris. I am super excited to be here. It's my first KubeCon. Uh, we have a really awesome lineup for you today. So thanks for coming. Uh, first, I just want to ask a question. How many of you know what the Data on Kubernetes community is? All right. Well, hopefully by the end of this, you'll have a better understanding. And then how many of you are running stateful workloads on Kubernetes right now? All right. Some of you. Great. Hopefully, the rest of you will be convinced that you should be doing it too um, after this. So um, yeah, we've been hosting virtual DOK days since 2020. This is our second co-located event with the CNCF. So I want to say thank you to the uh, CNCF events team. Uh, who am I? My name is Paul Ao. Uh, I'm the community manager for DOKC, or Data on Kubernetes Community. Um, you've probably seen me on Slack or maybe hosting virtual events. Um, and if you ever want to reach me, you can do that by emailing me at paul at dok.community. Uh, you can find me on Slack under Paul Ao or on LinkedIn. And my name is really short. It's only four unique letters. My last name is inside my first name, so none of you should forget it. Um, I want to say a special thank you to our gold sponsor for this event, Percona. And it's allowing us to gather you all here today as a community. So thank you so much. Yeah. So just a few housekeeping things. Um, if you're here today, it's important that you follow the um, CNCF code of conduct. And basically what that boils down to is uh, treat people how you'd like to be treated with kindness and respect. And you know, having that code of conduct allows us to foster um, community and for us to uh, do good things. So you can scan the QR code to see the uh, code of conduct if for whatever reason you see an incident or incident happens to you, you can report it at conduct at cncf.io. But hopefully, we don't have to deal with that. Um, you can also scan the QR code here. And by the way, if you have a phone out, you might want to keep it out because a lot of QR codes to scan. Um, but you can receive tr uh, captions or tran uh, translations if you scan that and enter the ID of the, the talk. Uh, really important stuff here, snacks. They're just outside, you can't miss them. I am running on empty because I traveled 16 hours to get here, so I'm running on coffee and pan au chocolat. Um, and then tonight, you have the co-located event uh, at, in room on level 7.1 at 1730 to 1900. Okay, so what is the data on Kubernetes community? So this community was created back in 2020. Um, at the time, running stateful workloads was new and there weren't great established patterns and best practices. Uh, so the community was created to help connect people who are running data workloads, allow them to share their patterns. Because together, we are stronger. Uh, most recently, we've seen the rise of AI ML drive growth in DOK community, making it more important than ever. So data on Kubernetes is well positioned to become the operational default uh, in a world where data and AI, AI ML applications are expected to continue to, continue to grow. Um, since the community started, we've added hundreds of resources um, with videos and talks all about how to get started with data on Kubernetes. And we have over 4,400 um, Slack members, over 9,000 newsletter subscribers, and over 2,800 meetup group, group members. So let me just go over some of the programs that we have uh, in the data on Kubernetes community. So we have meetups. Uh, we host virtual talks monthly uh, where we have uh, real live data on Kubernetes practitioners come in, share their use cases. Um, and then we also have local meetups in the Bay Area, New York, London, most recently, Tuscany, Italy, over here. Um, um, and we do these events, the DOK days, uh, at KubeCon. So we also have a robust library, which we just launched with our new website, which we relaunched in January, if you haven't seen that. Um, lots of resources for, for learning how to run uh, data workloads on Kubernetes. Uh, we also have peer-to-peer -peer chat on our Slack group, and I'll show you how to get uh, to add yourself to the Slack group if you haven't already done that. Um, we also put out industry reports, which focus on understanding the DOK ecosystem, its challenges, successes, uh, and future trends. So we plan to um, release the, the next report in the next uh, couple months. And we appreciate everybody's input. Uh, for helping us to understand the challenges and opportunities and helps us with the community as it relates to the DOK ecosystem. 
Uh, we also have the DOK SIG, which is working groups whose role is to fill the gaps and fast track solutions uh, for challenges found with running staple workloads. And then lastly, we have the ambassadors program, uh, which I'll touch on in a, in a little bit as well. Uh, so we have a new website, as I mentioned. Um, the URL is dok.community, so it's pretty easy to find us. Um, it has a new look and feel. Um, as I mentioned, we I just added the resource library. So you can go to, uh, to the DOK library, filter by different types of content, and find what you're looking for. We also have the DOK landscape, which is where you can find tools, um, and you can filter by different criteria to help you find the right tool. As I mentioned, we do monthly virtual um, town halls where we have real life DOK practitioners uh, give their use cases. So we just recently had Kami Shethia from Etsy do a talk. And then coming up, we have Tong Le from Grab, which is essentially the Uber of Southeast Asia. And that's coming up in June. So that's going to be really exciting. Um, we also have the DOK SIG. So the DOK SIG is the working group that develops projects related to um, managing data workloads on Kubernetes. And it's a means of fostering collaboration to fast track growth in the DOK ecosystem. And the DOK SIG meets every other week and we have a Slack channel devoted to that. You can scan the QR code there. That's how you can join um, our Slack group. And then you can join the uh, DOK SIG channel. Um, yeah, so in 2022, the report that we put out uh, actually found that um, the number one criteria by which people picked um, operators was based on security. So one of the projects we are working on right now is the Operator Security Hardening Guide. Um, and then we also have the Storage Autoscaling in Kubernetes with Keta. So that, that's a more recent project. Uh, one of the projects that we just completed is the uh, Data on Kubernetes White Paper Database Patterns. And so thank you to our authors here. Uh, for working on that, and you can scan the QR code to check that out as well. Okay, so as I mentioned, the DOK Ambassadors, that's a program that launched in the summer of 2023, and for those of you that are here who are ambassadors, can you raise your hands? All right, we have Gabriele, Robert, Alex, Itamar is here, and Edith. Uh, if you see your, their hands, those are the people you should talk to if you have questions about DOK. Um, so yeah, thank you for your participation. Um, these people are answering questions, writing content, organizing local meetups, and just generally helping us to um, move data on Kubernetes forward. Uh, I want to thank our community sponsors, uh, Google Cloud and Percona, our gold sponsors. Thank you very much. Appreciate your sponsorship. Um, we also have our silver uh, sponsors, and then our community collaborators. Now, this is a open source, these are open source projects in the DOK ecosystem, and the goal with the Community Collaborator Program is to facilitate collaboration amongst DOK-related technology communities and end users who are running data-intensive workloads on Kubernetes. And I'm going to pass the mic over to the, our co-chair, uh, Sheetal Joshi. Thanks, Paul. So... Data on Kubernetes this afternoon wouldn't have been possible without um, these great program committee members. Uh, you can see my name, Michael Lau, Melissa, Robert, Olivia, Alvaro, Sergi, Sonil, and Edith. Uh, great, like a big thank you to all of these members. We work tirelessly uh, to bring you the great content that actually are going to be sharing. Um, scan the QR code to join the community and for sponsorship opportunities, please scan the code on the right because of course without sponsorship this couldn't have happened and we welcome more sponsors. Uh, before I get into the schedule today, I wanted to mention that there will be a panel discussion moderated by one of our DOK ambassadors, Edith Puya, uh, and will feature Robert Hutz. Clayton Coleman on Kubernetes as data platform, and that's going to take place on Friday, 2.55 local time. Yeah, so what are we going to be uh, looking? As you can see here, um, most of it, we have a, quite a few talks uh, that feature AIML, which makes sense. That's, that's all is happening in any of the other meetups that you have gone to. 
We are also going to hear about a variety of other topics like scaling Postgres using the power of cloud native PG, Kafka, and our first talk is going to be discover how to create your own metadata driven ML platform from scratch from Ted and Yohong uh, from IBM. I guess get started. What do you say, Paul? Yeah. Uh, yeah.